Hello YouTube! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my Tiffany jewelry collection. Of course, this is not a Tiffany box that's in front of me. This is, however, very close to the Tiffany blue color. And I purchased this box on Amazon maybe about three years ago. And I'm pretty sure that this company called Kendall still sells these boxes. So if you're interested, if, if you like the box and if you have need for a pretty good bit of jewelry storage, this might suit you. And of course, if you're looking for something in the Tiffany blue color that won't break the bank, this is pretty much a good investment for you. So just to give a little bit of background, I've been collecting Tiffany since 1997. That's when I received my first piece and I've expanded it quite a bit in the last 30 years, 20 years, 20 years, I guess it is. Anyway, I could do a part two of this video to show some other Tiffany items that I have that are not jewelry. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below. I'm probably going to be putting that up anyway. So without further ado, let me get on and show the jewelry. The first piece that I received was as a gift, and this was from a very good friend of mine for Christmas. It was a Christmas present, and it is in this pouch. You can see this is a vintage style pouch, and inside is this silver and onyx bracelet. It has a lobster claw clasp. You can see it has silver armature holding all the beads in place. And I just think this is a stunning bracelet. This is a retired piece. Tiffany does not use this lobster claw clasp anymore. They've changed the style. And as you can see the tag here, it's a round tag that says Tiffany and Company. Now, I have wanted to get the necklace that matches this set for a long time, and it, re it was retired. Um, for whatever reason, I never wound up purchasing it. But I did find a few years ago, maybe three years ago on eBay, the onyx and silver necklace to match the bracelet. This is a 30 inch necklace. It's one continuous strand. There's no clasp. And you can see it's alternating silver and onyx beads. And there's a Tiffany tag attached right here. And of course this is the old style tag. I don't know if you'd be able to see it that well. It says Tiffany and Company. And they don't use those tags anymore either. But I was just so absolutely thrilled to get that piece and it looks just so pretty together as a set. So a lot of times if I'm wearing the necklace, I'll wear the bracelet and sometimes I'll wear them on their own, but I think that it's really striking to wear both of these pieces together. The next item that I have is the Elsa Peretti Eternal Circle. This is not the original chain. The original chain, I believe, was like a 16 and a half inch chain. And it's really short for me. I never really liked shorter chains. And when I received this piece very shortly thereafter, I had had some links added on to it. I'm pretty sure that I got this for my birthday in 2000. So this is, you know, been in my collection for a long time and I absolutely love it. I love the delicate chain. It's very strong, but it is quite dainty and ladylike. And you can see here on the back of the piece, it's signed Elsa Peretti, Tiffany and Company Elsa Peretti and 925 Silver. I prefer silver jewelry. I've always preferred silver jewelry. I think that for me, silver is a little bit more versatile and there's so many pieces that can sometimes be a little bit too heavy and a little bit too much in gold, but in silver, they just kind of look a little bit more, uh, maybe I should say appropriate or I don't know, just kind of gives it a, a different look and 
maybe even a more modern look in some cases. And I think that you can stack silver, more silver pieces together without being too, too tacky. And sometimes gold can be really, really overwhelming. So the next piece that I'm going to show is something that I have bought for my mom when I went to Vegas in the summer of 1999. This is the Elsa Peretti teardrop dangle ring. Um, my mom passed away four years ago this year. And of course I have her jewelry. And this ring is something that she didn't wear that often because she was always so afraid of the dangle getting caught. It's a very, very durable ring believe it or not it looks like it's a thin wire but you really you can't bend this and move it and this is attached very very securely the little teardrop charm and of course it's signed Elsa Peretti Starling 925 so this was my mom's and this bracelet was also my mom's that I bought for her for Christmas one year and this is of course the Tiffany hardware collection ball bracelet and I really love this, and I love pairing this with the onyx and bead bracelet. You can see this is the newer style lobster claw clasp, and this is the newer style tag, which you're probably not gonna be able to see very well, um, the stamping on it. It's, it's a little bit difficult, but it says 925, of course, Tiffany and Company. So, I, of course, have her, her jewelry, and for Christmas, a couple of years ago, my dad bought for me, and he's passed away now as well, he bought me the ball, hardware ball earrings that match the necklace. These are just some little pearls that I put on this card. These are the earrings that match the necklace, and I also have the silver hardware ring so this also is a really nice a really nice set you know I often wear all three pieces together I like wearing this together as a set and speaking of I'm just realizing now that I did not pull out the earrings that match the eternal circle necklace now I bought these for myself on eBay a few years ago and yes they are authentic Tiffany and anytime you want to find out if something's authentic Tiffany if you're looking at, a, at an earring you're probably not going to be able to see this so well but it'll say Tiffany and Company on the post and the post backs are this floral design no I don't know if you're and they're also stamped Tiffany and Company on, on the butterfly part. I believe they call these butterfly clasps. And this is also stamped. Difficult to see. So, getting back to that. So that, of course, is a set. Um, another piece that I have in a set would be the Tiffany and Company 1837 ring and I have the coordinating earrings and the earrings are vintage pieces they don't make these particular earrings anymore although they do still make hoops in the 1837 style and you can see that these are a pretty good size hoop they have a pretty good weight to them. I really, really love them. Um, it's just a piece that stands out. And they're decorative, but plain enough, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I wear these with pretty much any other jewelry. And of course the ring I wear with other rings, um, other silver rings, other Tiffany rings, but I do enjoy wearing those as a set as well. Oh, putting this in the wrong spot. Okay. So the next piece 
in my collection is going to be my hook and eye ring. And this is sterling silver, 18 karat gold. And this is a tiny size. This is like maybe a three or a four. And I usually wear this as a pinky ring because it doesn't go all the way down my finger. And yes, my hands are pretty small and my fingers, although they look kind of fleshy, are actually kind of small. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a tiny size. And some days I have to really watch. And I think I mentioned before that I have rheumatoid arthritis. Sometimes my hands swell and it's really difficult to get rings off and on. So on a day when I'm really swollen, I might not be able to get this on. And on a day where I have no swelling at all, I can't wear it because it will fall off. So I have to be really careful and kind of judge in the morning what the day is going to be like before I decide on the jewelry. So the next piece that I have is this Venetian link bracelet, which is still in production, but I purchased this for myself as a little treat in 2004 while going to Tiffany to pick up a gift for someone. Um, it was a group gift, and while I was there, I just couldn't help browsing, and I picked this up. This is really a, a very, very versatile piece. It's plain but fancy, like a lot of Tiffany jewelry. You know, it's, it's pretty much something that you can wear every day. It's a heavy bracelet, so if you're looking for something that you can wear every day, that's not going to fall apart that you don't have to worry about getting banged around this is just ideal it's it's an excellent excellent piece and i definitely recommend it if you're just starting your tiffany collection it's a really good choice to make so the next bracelet that i'm going to show is this is a tiffany nature charm bracelet and you can see it has alternating charms of butterflies, dragonflies, sun or moon, heart, here's a daisy, and there's stones in these silver pieces. And they are precious stones. It's an adorable bracelet. And I really, really love it. I wear this all year, but I especially love to wear it in the summertime because of the butterflies and the dragonflies and the flowers. I think that it's just very summery and sweet. I've had people say that they think that after a certain age, the charm bracelets are childish. Well, I don't think that at all. I love my charm bracelets and I'm going to keep wearing them as long as I love them. And I believe I purchased that piece on the real real and it was a really good price and I've seen it recently for much much higher so moving right along I'm gonna wait for that moving right along I have you could see this is also an older piece because it has that pouch but this is a classic. This is the enamel and beaded heart. And this is on the 30 inch ball chain. Or no, 30, 35 inch, I believe it is. This must be, it's got to be a 35 inch because it hangs really low on me. And I'm busty. So yeah, it has a nice drop. I absolutely adore this necklace. I think that this necklace is just stunning and it's very eye-catching and it's something that usually when you wear it people comment on it and I, I just I've always wanted it and I was so happy to finally get it and again I'm pretty sure that I purchased this on the real real at an outstanding price so yeah when I saw it I had to grab it because I knew it would be something that would be very very hard to get again so so the next piece that I have is my only piece. And if you've noticed, 
and show them the collection, something that's missing. This is my only piece that says Return to Tiffany. And this is a Tiffany small beaded bracelet with the blue enamel Tiffany heart. And it says Return to Tiffany on the back. Please return to Tiffany and Company. I really like the bracelets and the necklaces with the small hearts because they're really dainty. They're not too overwhelming. You can wear it every day. You can wear it with pretty much anything. You can stack them. And I think that they're really sweet. I, as you could see, have chosen a lot of Tiffany pieces in my collection that don't scream Tiffany. And if you know it's Tiffany, if you know, well, if you know Tiffany jewelry, you know that they're Tiffany. You don't need to ask questions. You can see and you can recognize the style and the design and who made it, etc., etc. So that's just something that I've always preferred. I, I think that it's, for me, it was just something that I kind of wanted to curate were pieces that would be more unusual and just kind of speak to, to the design rather than the Tiffany branding. So that's it for now. That's the rest of my, or I should say all of my Tiffany jewelry collection. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will be making another video with some pieces that are from other collections, um, leather, leather goods, homeware, and show those and talk about those as well. If you have a question about any of the pieces that I showed today, or if you have a question about Tiffany in general, leave it in the comments below. I have been collecting for a long time, so I might be able to answer your question. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope that you could subscribe to my channel because I think that I have quite a few things coming up that should be interesting to any luxury lover or Tiffany lover or couture lover in general. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.